Hi, I'm Mira from Malaya Pilates and Flow with Mira. Today we'll be doing the first video of a series of classes that were originally created for Bassi Pilates YouTube channel. This is the beginner Bassi Flow mat. I have structured this class in a Bassi Flow style where one exercise flow to another creating a smooth fluid class and following the Bassi block system. Bassi Flow Mat is a signature of Bassi Pilates created by Ryle Isokowitz. No equipment is needed, just a mat and commitment to yourself. This class is perfect if you are new to Pilates or coming back to Pilates after a long hiatus. When you're ready, come and join me on a mat. We're going to start sitting up tall you may cross your leg, you may have a cushion underneath the pelvis, so choose a position and as that is most comfortable for you. Now, creating an upright position with the spine, your shoulders are nice and easy. Now I want you to place your hands on the side of the rib cage. We're going to start with some breathing exercises here. I want you to inhale from the nose, Feeling the rib cage pressing outward, expanding against your hands. Now, as you exhale, you want to feel the rib cage deflating, drawing towards each other. Inhale again, filling up the lungs, feeling the expansion of the rib cage sideways, pressing into your palms. Exhale through the mouth, feeling the ribcage deflating. We'll do two more like so, inhaling. Exhaling, keeping the spine upright, nice and tall. One more, inhaling. Exhale. Great. Now we're going to add on the abdominal connection here. So you inhale as what you did before. Try to expand as much as you can. Now as you exhale, feel the pelvic floor lifting up from the ground and then the abdominal wall drawing in towards your center. So inhale. We exhale. Lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the abdominal walls into the center. Keeping the spine nice and tall, shoulders easy, neck is long. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. And an inhale. As you exhale, feel the abdominal wall wrapping, supporting your trunk. To keep your body upright. Let's do one more time. Inhale. Exhale. And let that go. We're going to take the right arm up to the ceiling, reach the arm nice and high and grab the right wrist with the left hand. Now lengthen upward. Now tip the body gently towards the left. So you're going to stretch the right side of the body, of the rib cage. We're going to breathe again. Inhale, feel the expansion of the right rib cage outward. Exhale, feel the right rib cage deflating in towards the left, keeping that length with the arms and the right side. Two more, inhale. Exhale, grounding the right sitting bone down onto the floor as you reach the arm away from the sitting bone. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then bring your body up right back to the center and let the arm down. Other side, we take the left arm up to the ceiling, Grabbing the wrist with the right hand, reaching the left arm nice and high to the sky. And then gently tip the body over to the right. We inhale, feeling the expansion of the left rib cage. 
exhale reaching the arm grounding the left sitting bone down onto the floor inhale and exhale Go one more time inhale keeping the chest open keeping your gaze forward exhale and let's take the body back to the middle and let the arm down excellent let's face to the front of the mat have your feet hip width apart have your hands grabbing the underneath side of the thigh creating excuse me lifting the spine nice and tall creating an upright alignment now I want you to spread your feet onto the mat and feel the energy lifting up or drawing up from your feet towards the inner thigh and then towards the pelvis keep your arm active now what I want you to do is just rock the body rock the spine forward and then backward so as you tip the body forward you find that you're sitting at the front or towards the front of the sitting bone and then as you tip backward you're sitting towards the back of the sitting bone and then continue rocking be sensitive about the placement or the weight bearing on the sitting bone as you rock your body forward and backward and I do a few more rocking and make that rock a little smaller and bring your body to stillness right above the sitting bone shoulders nice and open neck nice and long drawing up the abdominal wall upward and inward towards the center drawing your spine away from the gravity and in breath now as you exhale round the back flex the spine stretch the lumbar spine now I want you to tip the upper body forward inhale lift the spine coming back to an upright position and again exhale so you're going to sit behind the sitting bone pulling the abdominal wall towards the lower back by bringing the upper body and the mid back forward over your hips inhale lifting up away from the gravity let's do three more exhale the energy of the spine is outward away from the pelvis away from the ground and an inhale coming upright position two more exhale rounding inhale so your abdominal wall and your back extensors muscles are active while you're doing this flexion we call that the c curve and an inhale lifting up and now again exhale into that C curve round back we're going to hold this position and then I want you to rock the pelvis roll back melting the sacrum onto the floor melting the lower back onto the floor keep those arms active and we're going to stay here your gaze is forward now once your lower back is on the floor bring the heel closer towards your bottom make sure they are still in parallel position hip width apart rest your arms down onto the floor and then rest your head and the shoulder down onto the floor in breath feeling the ribcage expanding to the side and then exhale feeling the pelvic floor and abdominal wall drawing in towards the center allow the body to settle on the ground allow the body to arrive on the mat now bring your attention to your feet again I want you to spread the feet down onto the mat nice and heavy drawing the energy upward from the feet to the inner thighs letting the in, 
letting your, your knees, excuse me, to face towards the ceiling. And then draw the energy towards the pelvis. And allow the pelvis to be grounded. Settling down onto the mat, or melting down. And the lower back is light off the floor or floating. And the mid back, the upper back, resting onto the floor, nice and heavy. Your neck is floating off the floor and your head is resting heavy, melting onto the ground. Your arms are active on the mat, reaching towards your feet. Your chest is nice and opened. Your heart is open. Your shoulder blades, your scapulas are resting, melting onto the floor. And then we breathe in again, expanding the ribs sideways. Now, as you exhale, I want you to draw that lower abs in your abdominal, contract in and melt the lower back down onto the floor, imprinting to the floor. And an inhale, release the pelvis back to that neutral position, your neutral position. And exhale, abdominal wall comes in and then imprint the lower back down, your bottom comes off the floor. I want you to create a nice scoop being feeling in the abdominal as you do this pelvic rocks. Inhale, releasing back to your starting position. Again, exhale, melting the lower back, imprinting down to the floor. And an inhale, releasing back to the neutral. And exhale, again, we rock. Low back onto the floor. And keeping in mind that your inner thighs are still active. And an inhale, release back to the neutral. And an exhale again, imprint the lower back down. And now inhale, we're going to stay imprinted here. And an exhale, can you go a little bit deeper? Press the lower back down to the floor. Hollow the abdominal wall closer to, towards the mat. Inhale, we stay. One more time. Exhale, scoop a little deeper. Inhale, release the pelvis back to the neutral position. Again, we exhale, rock the pelvis, imprint the lower back, hold that position. Inhale, exhale, a little deeper flexion in that lumbar spine, keeping the inner thighs active. Inhale, hold that position. Exhale, a little deeper flexion. And then inhale, release it back to that neutral position. Let's do one more time like so. Exhale, drawing the abdominal wall in, imprint the lower back, flex the lower back. Inhale, hold it. Exhale, go deeper to the ground, maybe come up a little higher. Inhale, hold it. Exhale, even more towards the floor. Inhale, release it back down to the neutral pelvis. Moving on to a pelvic curl. We exhale, scooping the abdominal wall, imprint the lower back, and then we're gonna lift the pelvis. Your hamstring will kick on, and then you're gonna peel the vertebrae off the floor. One at a time, coming onto that bridge position. Lifting the pelvis high. The energy is away. The energy of the thighs reaching out towards the knee and your feet, your inner thighs are active here. Inhale, exhale. Let's melt the spine from the top and the mid back and the lower back and in the sacrum and then the tailbone and back to the starting position. We breathe out again. We imprint the lower back. Lift the pelvis, the hamstring will kick on, lift the pelvis higher, coming up onto that bridge position. Let's hold this position for a second. You want to create a nice straight line from the shoulder to the pelvis, the hip joint, and then towards the knee, and the energy is outward towards the knee and your feet, and the abdominal wall is drawing in. 
towards the spine and lifting up towards the heart. Opening up that chest, breathe out. We roll the spine back down again, melting down and release the pelvis back to neutral. Let's do two more times. We breathe out, imprint the lower back and peeling the spine off, reaching it forward towards the knee. Inhale, nice and high in the pelvis. Exhale, inner thighs are still active as you roll the spine down. And now release the pelvis back to the neutral position. And we breathe out one more time. Exhale, rolling up. Coming onto the bridge position, nice and high in the pelvis. Arms are still active, neck is long, in breath. Exhale. We melt the spine down, coming back to the neutral pelvis and spine position. Now let's float your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now I want you to reach your right arm towards the ceiling, lifting the right scapula off the floor and then rest it back down to the floor. Inhale, we reach the left arm nice and high. And then exhale, rest the shoulder back down. Inhale, reaching up, peeling the, the scapula off. Exhale. And the left, reaching the scapula off. Exhale, anchoring down. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. The left one, inhale, reach. Exhale. One last set, inhale, reaching the right. Exhale, let it rest. Left one reaching. And exhale. Now let's do both arms. Reach both arms to the ceiling. Stretching the upper back off the floor. And then let's bring his shoulder back down to the floor. Two more. Inhale, reaching the arms. Exhale. Last one. In, reaching up. Exhale, let the shoulders settle back down to the floor. Floor. Now you're going to flex your palms, your wrist, fingertips away from each other. Now I want to inhale, reach the arms towards the floor. Your fingertip is just touching the mat or the floor. Pressing the palms away from each other. You'll feel this immense stretch at the front of your chest. And then as you exhale, bring the palm up and then close the arms back above the shoulder. Let's do two more times like so. Inhale, we flex the wrist and reaching the hands towards the floor, pushing the palms away from each other. And now exhale, come back up. And again, inhale, reaching down towards the floor, just touching the floor, and we're gonna stay here. As you exhale, we need to push the palms away from each other, keeping the shoulder nice and wide. Again, inhale, reaching up, pushing out, Exhale, allow the ribcage to settle. One more, inhale, pressing the palms away from each other. And exhale, and release the wrist and place your hands and your arms down onto the floor. Bringing your feet together, your thighs together, moving on to our supine spine twist. Now, we're going to tilt the body to the one side, exhale, Bring the body back to the center. So I'm going to the back of the room. So I'm twisting to my right, keeping my left shoulder down, reaching the left hip away from the left shoulder. Exhale, I'm using my center to pull my body back to the middle. I want that thigh to go together as one unit as you twist. Exhale, come back to the middle. And an inhale to the right. And my left foot will come up. My left shoulder still anchored to the floor. And exhale, I'm bringing my spine back to the center, activating my left oblique. And then again, one more set. Inhale to the front of the room, which is my left. I feel a stretch on my right oblique. Exhale, returning back to the center. And an inhale over to the back of the room, which is my right. Exhale, bringing myself back to the middle. 
gliding the arms overhead, interlace the fingers, place your hands at the back of your head. Moving to our chest lift, you may open your feet, hip width apart. Now here, breathe in. Now as you exhale, draw the abdominal wall in, allow the ribcage to lengthen down, and we're going to flex and lift the upper chest forward. Resting your head into your hands. Gaze is forward in breath. Exhale, return down. And exhale, abdominal wall drawing in, melting the lower back onto the floor, and then flexing the upper chest forward. Inhale, gaze is forward. Exhale, release back down to the floor. In breath, exhale, lift, in breath, exhale, down, inhale, exhale, can we try to elongate the lower back down onto the floor? But try to keep that pelvis as neutral as possible. In breath. And exhale. In breath. Exhale, drain the abdominal wall in. Lengthen the lower back down. Lifting that chest. Now we're going to stay here. We're going to inhale, take your hands underneath the thigh. Can we come up a little higher? Shoulders easy. And then transfer your hands back behind your head and then return. Let's do one more like so. Exhale, we come up high, high. Inhale, arms. Can we come up a little higher as you exhale? Hold that chest. Inhale, arms back and then exhale. Come back down and exhale. We come up, inhale, arms, exhale, come up a little higher, and let's hold that position. Now, if you have tucked the pelvis a lot, can you release that pelvis back to your neutral pelvis position? Hold that chest, transfer your arms in front of you, one hand on top of the other, and we're gonna add rotation here. Now, towards me, we're gonna exhale, Inhale, middle. To the other side. Inhale, middle. Rotating from the trunk. The gaze is to your hands. Inhale, center. Exhale. Try to keep the pelvis stable. Exhale. One more each side. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the floor. Inhale, center, hold. Transfer your hands to the back of your thigh. Can we come up a little higher? Higher. And then release the pelvis back to neutral if you have tucked the pelvis up. And then transfer your hands to the back of your head. We'll repeat the motion again. Rotate towards me. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. This is your chest lift with rotation. Inhale, center. Exhale. In breath, center. Exhale. Center. Try not to pull on the neck. Let the abdominal muscle work here. One more each side. Last one. Come back to the center. Release the head down. Well done. Take your arms along by the side of your body here. Moving on, we're gonna stabilize that pelvis. Take an in-breath, and as you exhale, draw in the abdominal wall, stabilize the pelvis. We're gonna take the left leg up to the table top. Your knee will be above the hip. Your shin bone is parallel with the ground. We're going to inhale, lower the leg down, and exhale, draw in the center, bring the leg back up to the table top. Now we're moving from the hip socket. Exhale. So you keep the angle of the knee constant and exhale and then you opened 
the front of the hip as you lower the leg. Exhale, you're increasing the angle at the hip joint. And exhale, and then you're closing it. And then inhale, exhale, pelvis is stable. Imagine you have a glass of champagne resting on the pelvis. You're going to keep that pelvis so stable that you do not spill that champagne. And then down one more. Exhale. And then we left, sorry, we lower the foot back down on the floor. And then repeat onto the other side. We breathe out, drain the abdominal wall in. Again, take the right leg up. And then we inhale, we lower. Exhale. And tapping. Exhale. This is your leg lift in breath. Exhale. Again, keeping the angle of the knee constant and increasing the front of the hip angle as you lower and then decreasing as you lift up. In breath, pelvis is stable, lumbar spine is stable. One more. In breath, exhale. Let's stay. Stay in the tabletop position. Take an in-breath. Exhale, drawing the center even deeper. We're going to bring the other leg up, joining up onto the tabletop position. Moving on to our leg changes. So we lower your right foot down as you inhale. Now as the right leg up comes up, the left one goes down. And then we switch. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping that knee the angle of knee constant. In breath. Exhale. Drawing the abdominal wall nice and deep, deep into your center. Two more set. In breath. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hold that tabletop position. Bring that leg back up. Joining both legs in tabletop squeezing the inner thighs together and then turn the palms up gliding your arms to the T position all right so moving to our spine twist again this time with the tabletop position so towards me as we inhale pressing the opposite shoulder down exhale now I want your thigh to move together as one unit and you may not go far so I want you to create a nice, stable lick, moving together, and an exhale, and anchoring the opposite shoulder and the scapula down towards the floor, in breath, one more each side, in breath, last one, back to the center. Arms down by the side, lower your right foot down. Now I want you to grab your hand and grab the shin on the left leg. Stretch your right leg down onto the floor and I'm pressing the left thigh towards your chest. We're going to inhale here, feeling the elongation of the spine down on the floor as you stretch your right leg long on the floor. And exhale compressing the hip joint onto the floor. One more, inhale, exhale, and then bringing that left leg to the table position. Grab your hands, the back of your thigh here. Now stabilize the pelvis. We're going to stretch the leg up to the ceiling, the left leg, and now I want you to dorsiflex, flex your foot, your heels is reaching towards the sky, and then bend the knee. Again, reach the leg, flex the heels, flex the feet, or the foot, sorry, and then fall. And again, reach, stretching, and fold. Last one, reach, stretching, flex the foot, and stay. Contract your quadriceps and your hamstring equally, and then glide on, slide your arms to the T position. Moving on to single leg circle here. So your pelvis needs to be absolutely stable. We go towards the right, and then down, out, back to center. And then one long breath for one circle. So we inhale, 
And then exhale, keeping your leg in parallel, in breath. And then exhale. One more set, in breath, your arms are active. Exhale, stay the other direction. So go outward, down and across as you inhale. And then exhale. And then inhale. And then exhale. Now the movement here doesn't have to be big if you find it challenging to stabilize the pelvis. Inhale. And then exhale. But if you have the control, you can make the movement much bigger. Exhale, last one. Hold, point, bend the knee, rest the foot back on the floor. Bend the right foot in, or bring the right knee in, foot in. Bring the right leg up to tabletop. Grab the shin bone. Stretch the left leg down onto the floor. Now I want you to compress the right thigh towards your chest. We in breath, lengthening the spine down onto the floor. Exhale, compressing the hip. Inhale, reaching the left leg onto the floor. Exhale, compressing. And then bring the right thigh back to the tabletop position and your hands will go underneath the thigh. Now we stretch the leg up, dorsiflex the foot, reaching the heel towards the sky and then we bend. And then reach, flex, reach, reach the heel and we fold. And again, reach, heels and fold. One more time, stretch as much as you can. Now dorsiflex the foot, hold that position Open the arms out to the T position, pressing the back of your arm down. And let's go across the body and down as you inhale. And then exhale. Again, stabilize the pelvis. Inhale. It doesn't have to be big. And then inhale. Leg is in parallel. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. And exhale. Hold. And other direction out, down, across, in breath. And an exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And in breath. Reach the heel to the sky. One last set. Inhale. And an exhale. Hold. Point that foot. Bend the knee. And then let's lower that foot back onto the floor. Bend the left knee. Place the foot in. Take your arms overhead. Pressing the back of the arms down onto the floor. Allow the rib cage to melt to the floor too. Take an in breath, moving on to a hundreds prep. As you exhale, I want you to lift the arms, lift the chest, come up into a chest lift position here. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky and then releasing your head and the chest back down onto the floor. And then breathe that. Abdominal wall draws in, then you lift the chest up, gaze is forward, inhale, lifting up, and then exhale, again, exhale, inhale, lifting up, and release down, and exhale, we lift, inhale, we return and an exhale. We lift and let's hold this position. Taking one leg up to the tabletop, hold. Breath out, second leg up to the tabletop, drawing the abdominal wall nice and tight, drawing the thighs together. We take the arms up as the in breath and then return back down. Repeat. Exhale, we lift, flex the chest. Inhale, arms up. And then return. Exhale, lift. Inhale, arms up. And return. Let's do two more. Exhale. Inhale. Allow that lower back to melt onto the floor. Last one. Exhale. As you come up, high, high. And your pelvis is still grounded onto the floor. Inhale, arms reaching up. And then we take the arms back down. 
Lower one foot back on the floor, second one down on the floor. Let's walk your feet a little bit further away from the pelvis, knees and feet together. Okay, now turn the palms facing each other here. So your knees are slightly bent still. Now we're going to take the arms up to the ceiling, coming up into the chest lift position here. Then you're going to sink that lower back onto the floor and come up, roll the spine up and stretch your legs forward. So I'm teaching you a modified roll up and then we go into the proper roll ups. So inhaling, lifting up the spine, nice and active. Exhale, you're going to roll back. You can bend the knees in and allow the sacrum to sink to the floor, low back to sink to the floor, and then let's take the arms overhead. Palms are facing each other here. Allow the ribs to settle onto the floor. Arms up, lift the head and the chest up, curl forward, and then peel the spine off and stretch your legs along on the floor, coming up into that seeker position here. Inhale, exhale, we roll back, bringing the knees Feet on the floor, melting the back onto the floor, arms overhead. One more like so. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale. Stretch the leg as you curl over. Now, if you find that was manageable, let's have the legs down on the floor and keep them long. So, we breathe out. We're going to roll the pelvis back. Allow the sacrum to settle on the floor and the lower back to sink on the floor. Then take the arms overhead and allow the ribs to settle in print on the floor. We take the arms up again. Head lift, chest lift. And exhale. Peel the spine off. Coming onto that C curve roll up position. Inhale. And exhale. Reaching the legs out as you draw the pelvis onto the floor. Low back onto the floor and then the arms overhead. Again, inhale. So you may still choose to do this with the bent knee positioned. That's okay. And you can just progress to the straight leg version as when you feel ready. So exhale, roll it back again. Sacrum melting, lumbar spine melting, and then the arms go overhead. Let's do one last one. We inhale, lifting. Exhale, we pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, and stay. Bend the knee, bring the feet closer towards the bottom. All right, moving to our rolling like a ball. Now, place your hands on the shin bone here. Now, I want you to drag the feet quite close towards your pelvis here. Now, rock the pelvis and balance on your tailbone. Now, point your feet tip of the feet on the ground and now use your arms use your bicep to really lock that position my arms are really active here my biceps are working hard here to hold my legs now I want you to float the feet off the floor right so you in this ball like position your spine is in flexion your gaze is towards your center here now I want you to keep this shape we're going to inhale roll back to the shoulder, exhale, balance, hold. Inhale, roll back, exhale, balance, hold. Gaze to your abdominal, to your center, exhale. Knees are together, my arms are working here. Inhale, exhale, balance. Keep the spine in flexion and round back, exhale. Let's do three more, inhale, exhale, and two more. Inhale, keep the shape nice and compact. And last one, exhale, stay. Now we're going to stay here and balance. And balance. And balance. And balance. Well done. Place your feet down on the floor. Excellent. Now, stretch your legs long on the floor. And half your feet slightly wider than your pelvis and then bring that spine in upright alignment 
If you find this is quite challenging for your hip joint, you are welcome to bend the knee slightly, but I'm really wanting to, you to achieve that nice long upright alignment. Okay? Lifting up, reaching the arms long. I'm going to stretch my legs here. And my feet are in dorsiflex position, meaning that the toes are pulled back towards your center. My arms are in front of my shoulder. I'm drawing my spine upward away from the gravity pull. And then I'm going to exhale to roll the spine forward and then tip the pelvis forward a little bit for an extra hamstring stretch. In breath, we hold. Exhale, we roll up, coming up right again. Exhale, we roll forward. Tip the pelvis, stretch it. And then exhale, we roll up. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, exhale, roll, in breath. Exhale, roll up, tall. Exhale, roll down, in breath. Exhale, roll up, even taller than before. Let's do two more. Exhale, rolling forward, down and forward, in breath. Exhale, my heels is planted heavily on the floor. And our last one, rolling down, in breath. Exhale, rolling up, up up tall, be present, shoulders opened, reaching the heels away, abdominal wall is nice and connected, and then let that go. Okay, bring the legs together, turn your body facing me, we're going to a side lying position for your side lift. So, your bottom arm is stretched long on the floor, your legs are stretched long away from the pelvis. So imagine you have a wall behind you. You're gonna print that body, the legs and the trunk towards that wall. Place your hand down onto the floor, the top arm down onto the floor like so. All right, squeezing the inner legs, making sure that feet are the same length. In breath, as you exhale, you're gonna draw the abdominal wall in and then we're going to lengthen the lower waist on the floor as you lift the legs up and then lower down. Again, exhale. Lengthening the lower, the lower waist, reaching the legs up and then we lower down. And again, exhale. Lifting, lifting, lifting and then lower and then exhale and lower now exhale again now let's hold this position if you have a good balance you may take your arms along by the side like what i'm doing and we lower down again repeat exhale lift up high and Lower. Let's do two more. Exhale. One last. Exhale. And let's hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come back down. All right. Top hand down, bending the knee. Push your body up, come up, and let's turn over to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna create the same position, lengthening the bottom arm long on the floor, stretching the legs long underneath your spine. Imagine there's a wall behind you. In fact, if you have a wall nearby behind you, go ahead and lean your body against that wall. Okay, place the top hand down in front of your chest, reaching the legs out from the pelvis, in breath. Exhale, drawing the abdominal and lengthening the lower waist onto the floor as you lift the legs. In breath. 
and again exhale making sure that you don't rock your pelvis forward or backward as you lift the legs and an exhale contracting the top abdominal your obliques as you lift the legs and lower again exhale in breath and exhale let's hold here if you have a good balance let's transfer the top arm to the side of your hips or your thigh and lower and repeat exhale and in breath and exhale how high can you go without falling over exhale let's do one last one exhale and we hold this position in balance for five four three two one and we lower well done all right rolling on to your front for your back extension so all right one two two reach your legs long away from the pelvis they're at least hip width apart your arms are long by the side of your thighs your head is just slightly floating off the floor now we need to engage the hamstrings reaching out from the pelvis and then we need you to draw in the lower abs kind of drawing that pubic bone up towards your heart and then down towards the floor we in breath to lift that chest, reaching the upper back, mid back of the floor, taking care that your neck is still long, your gaze is still onto the floor, not forward in front of you. And then we exhale, we lower down. And again, inhale, gliding the arms down, reaching the arms away from the shoulder as you lift the upper, mid back up, neck is long, your legs are active. And then exhale, we go down. We inhale, lifting, reaching. Abdominal wall is active. Do not sink in that lower spine. And exhale. Again, inhale, reach, lift, lift. Your triceps are on fire. And then exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. Reaching the legs, lifting up the lower abs, lifting up the abdominal wall, lifting up the upper, mid back, neck is long, fingertips reaching, arms are long, and exhale. One last one. And inhale, lift, lengthening out, up, 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 and exhale. We go down. Well done. Bend the elbow, place. Place your forearm down onto the floor, drawing the abdominal wall and push your body up, or lift the body up, press the body away. Bring the pelvis to your heels for your rest position. Well done. We're gonna reach the arms actively away from the spine here. We're just going to stay in this rest position. We're just breathing in. Exhale melting the sacrum down to the heels in breath as you inhale feel the back of your ribs expanding as you exhale feel the sacrum melting down to the heels let's do two more sets of breath inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then we slowly roll our spine up, coming up into a seated position. Well done. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Please comment and subscribe to the channel. We have amazing classes with various talented BASI teachers from around the world in this channel that you can take a class with. Thank you for joining me once again. 
I wish you a lovely day. Take care.